Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Auburn Fast Talk, where you get everything real and accurate about Auburn. And I know it's been um, I know it's been a while uh, since I've done any type of upload. Um, been having certain things I've had to uh, had to get settled, so certain personal issues. But that's neither here nor there. I just saw a video on the SG One Sports page uh, stating. Five reasons Auburn will make a New Year's Six Bowl. And for for most for, for like three of the reasons that he that he stated, I they don't seem too far fetched, so I can understand why he said it. Why why that person stated that within the within the video. But for me, one of the things he stated was that freshman freshman quarterbacks can play. Here's my response to that. He named Jameis Winston, Trevor Lawrence, Tua, which is at Alabama. Those are the ones he named. It doesn't take a genius, guys. Look at look at the 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 the, the team and the staff that those few that he named are playing with or played with. You had Jameis Winston at Florida State. Florida State had a, had a hell of a team. Had a hell of a damn coaching staff. So that helped. That 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 negated the fact that he was a freshman out there playing and starting because he had a great coaching staff to help him and develop him to to where, like I said, the guy was putting up phenomenal numbers. The same thing could be said about Trevor Lawrence. You have a great team without them. This the, the, here's the common thing with all of them. They have a great team without those freshman quarterbacks. Then you throw them with that team, and you do your job as far as coaching them and putting them, putting putting them in a position to be able to succeed. And they go out there and they show proof of it. And you didn't put them in a position to fail, you get those outcomes. But trying to go, but but trying and wanting to compare that to Bo Nix or Joy Gatewood is laughable. It's completely laughable because Have you guys really paid attention to what is going on at Auburn? Let's not forget, Gus has been on the hot seat as far as his uh, job security for the past two seasons, two or three seasons. He's been on the hot seat. And he's won certain games to kind of cool the hot seat down. But he's still on the hot seat this year going into this season as well. And look at his track record. What QB has Gus Malzahn developed? That's just a general, that just, that's just a flat question. What QB has he developed? None, right? I know people are going to want to say Cam Newton. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw that. I'm going to go ahead and refute that. And that be then that will be out the window. Cam Newton was a once in a lifetime type player. A player like Cam Newton, you don't have to coach. You just have to call the right play and let them do their thing. That's exactly what they did when Cam was down there. Let's not get that confused or misconstrued at all. That's exactly what happened when Cam was at Auburn. They called certain plays and they let him do him because he was such a superior athlete. Versus every single team that year. 
So, yes, let him do what he do. That's not Gus Malzahn's own coaching the guy or developing him. You just let him do what he can do. That's it. Then people want to say Nick Marshall. Okay, look at the first year Nick Marshall was under Gus. Gus did the same thing he did with Cam with Nick Marshall that first year. He let him do what he let him do what he do. Give him bits and pieces, and let him do what he do. But that next season, which was Nick Marshall's last season, what happened? Gus tried to coach him. He tried to develop him. And what happened? Mediocre. And for us as a team, we went eight and five. We lost a ball game. We lost to Alabama. We lost to Georgia. Need I say more? So with that being the case, we have an offensive line that still is in question. That is tremendously in question. So we have to put that in context. We have an offensive line that is in question of whether they developed and got better from last season or the season before, or have they still stuck right where they were, and or have they completely is going to stink up the place? They're, they're in question. The wide receiving quarter we have, I I think we're okay in that category. I think we're okay. The running backs, excuse me, the running back situation, that's in question. The QB situation is definitely in question. Defense is just in question of whether or not more so the, the, the secondary and the linebacking core will be able to step up and make plays. But having all of those things in question, how will a quarterback of the stature of a Bo Nix or, or Joey Gatewood is going to be able to even halfway duplicate the likings of a Jameis Winston, a Trevor Lawrence, a Tua, and so forth. I I know the answer, but I would love to hear you guys' theories on this because I've already been on record stating what's going to happen next year. I've already stated it. It's on record. It's on, it's on one of the videos I posted on my on my channel. But this is just was a just a small response to that particular video of the five reasons of why we're making New Year's six six uh bowl. And I will just cut it short here, and I will say, and I will reiterate this because I've said it more than once. We will not win anything with Gus Malzahn still on the planes. That has been my time. I will try to get more more videos out, seeing as though I have a situations back in order. So, hope you guys like, share, subscribe, and put your comments down below on what you think about this, what you think about that particular video, and my response to it. And... Talk to you guys soon. This is Auburn Fast Talk, where you get everything real about Auburn. Where you go?